If you're already in the planning phase on how to take a year off and enjoy some long-term travel, you probably have this question. Do I take a roller bag or a backpack? I'm gonna answer that for you right now. But first, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie Perry. At 41, I quit my job to travel for a year. Now I am a long-term house sitter and I'm still going strong. If you dream of quitting your job to travel long-term, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell and you'll be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so I should start off by saying I watched way too many packing videos before I went on my gap year and I didn't follow any of their advice. So I fully understand that you're gonna make your own decisions. All right, so I'm just gonna give you my perspective on things. Also, this is not a packing video, so I'm not gonna tell you specifically how to pack or what to pack or anything like that in this video, but I will do it later. So again, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you're getting notifications so that you'll be notified when I do post that video. While I was pouring through all those videos on packing and what to pack and what to pack in, I thought I had the right answer. I thought the answer was take a backpack. And most of the videos were like 21 or 23 year old girls who were going on extended trips and they were buying those huge backpacks, like 60, 70 liter size bags. So I bought one for myself. As soon as it came in the mail, I knew I had made a mistake. I put the backpack on and it just, it had straps and it had a harness. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm going on an extended vacation. I'm not trekking the Himalayas. So I switched out to a roller bag. Now my first roller bag was humongous. It was gargantuan. Don't do this to yourself. The problem with roller bags is that you have to get them up and down the steps. So that's my main con. That's the main, out of all the pros and cons for the different kinds of bags, my main con for the roller bag is that you're gonna have to lift it up and down steps. There are subways and hotels and hostels and places where you're just not gonna have an elevator or an escalator and you're gonna have to carry this heavy bag when you're tired or when you're hot and you're hungry and you're lost. So don't start off on the wrong foot with a bag that's too big and too heavy, whichever you go with. But I absolutely recommend that you take a roller bag. Here are some problems that I didn't think about until I had that backpack in my hands. I already told you the straps and the harness, it just it looked like I was go planning to walk from here to Thailand. I wasn't. The straps can also be a problem with conveyor belts when your luggage is coming down the airport baggage belt. I've seen bags get ripped up in that circumstance. They do make extra covers that you can use to cover your bag to make sure that the straps and stuff don't get caught up in equipment. So that's another thing to think about. Also, having a huge backpack on your back is just really bulky when you're trying to fit into tight places. When you need to squeeze into metros and trains, people are not very friendly to other travelers who have that huge backpack on. They're much more forgiving of a roller bag. But the main reason that I'm team roller bag over team backpack is that it's much easier to organize a roller bag and to get to the stuff that you actually need. I use packing cubes to organize my clothes and my things when I'm packing. And when you have a roller bag, you just unzip it. Your packing cubes are there organized. It's kind of like having a little mini dresser <laughs> that travels around with you, as opposed to a backpack where everything is, you know, on top of everything else. If you need something that's on the top, no problem, easy to get to. But if you need something that's on the bottom, you need to unpack your whole bag to get to it. These are my packing cubes. I bought them before my trip in 2015 and I'm still going strong and they're still going strong. But whether you go for a roller bag or a backpack, you wanna add packing cubes into the mix just to make it easier on yourself. I have links in the description of this video for my bags and for the packing cubes. Ebags is one of the websites that Ebates gives a rebate for. So if you're not already an Ebates member, click my link in the description, sign up for Ebates. When you use the Ebates link to buy your packing cubes, they'll give you $10 back off of your first purchase of $25 or more. And then of course you'll get your Ebates percentage rebate on top of that. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so the cons for carrying a backpack are basically the pros for carrying a roller bag. The backpack is strappy and bulky and you look like an Arctic expeditioner and it's more difficult to organize. As long as you can pack a bag that's light enough for you to carry up two or three flights of steps when you have to, totally go for the roller bag. You'll thank me later. All right, please like this video if you like it, share it with your friend who overpacks, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.